Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Marler TV. I'd like to invite you, if you haven't already, to like and subscribe this vid uh, to my channel. That way you can keep up with all the fun things that I do. You'll find a lot of drone videos and different reviews and things like that on my channel. Wanted to uh, review, uh, my wife and I went and had an early celebration of our 10th wedding anniversary uh, this past week. And uh, we decided to do something that we have never done before. We went on a carnival cruise. Uh, it's our first time cruising and uh, we went from March 11th through March 16th uh, on the Carnival Sunshine sailing out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Now, um, just go through all the days uh, day by day and let you know what we, uh, we were able to do and that kind of thing. We actually left our home in uh, the Knoxville, Tennessee area on uh, Sunday, March 10th and uh, drove down and stayed the night in Charleston, South Carolina at the Charleston Inn, the best western there. And we got a fantastic situation with that. Um, had the night stay there and uh, they allowed us to uh, park my truck there uh, for, the, uh, for the week. And it was only $200 uh, for the stay. We got a uh, nice breakfast the next morning and then uh, the truck was able to stay there all week uh, with no problems whatsoever. Uh, so grateful for that. If you do decide to take a, uh, a cruise on the Carnival Sunshine, remember you only have a year to do so. Uh, after this year, they will no longer go out of Charleston, South Carolina. They'll be moving to Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, but if you do, look up the uh, Best Western Charleston. Uh, great place to stay and they'll even shuttle you over to the port. So fantastic. So Monday, uh, we headed over to uh, the cruise ship and uh, boarded. The boarding was nice and easy. Uh, there was, um, security was very similar to something you'd see on an airport. Only one uh, slight difference is they um, had a dog. And uh, basically a line of about 30, 40 people or so, we would set our carry-ons um, on this yellow line and they would have us step back and there would be a German Shepherd I'm assuming it's a German Shepherd, but a dog similar nonetheless uh, walk up and down the line and um, Just make sure no one's taking any dope or anything like that on the ship. Our main luggage was already checked uh, so you deliver your luggage to the porter and uh, They will uh, get it on the ship for you. So uh, very nice and easy situation with that um, after that, we went through the basic uh, TSA, but not really TSA uh, checkpoints. Had to wait in line and uh, go through a uh, metal detector, that kind of thing. And then uh, the final step was to go ahead and board the ship. So uh, we went up uh, three levels of uh, the glass enclosure called a gangway and crossed onto the ship. And uh, as soon as we walked into the ship, uh, it was a beautiful atrium, very gorgeous. I'll show some pictures uh, throughout the video of different elements. Um, we were able to take our carry-ons and set them down in the room, so thankful for that. Um, or excuse me, our, our cabin, I shouldn't call it a room. It's not, not like a hotel, it's, it's different on a ship. Um, but we went up to the Lido deck and uh, uh, was just going to kind of cruise around and look, uh, try to look for some lunch and, um, you know, see with the sights, uh, get familiar with the ship, so to speak. But as soon as we walked out on the Lido deck, uh, this one server said complimentary rum punch. And so, uh, my wife not knowing any better, she went ahead and got them and, uh, uh they were okay. I, I should have had suspicions though, when he was wanting my room number and signature. Uh, so, um, Later on, once I got the final bill, I realized that I spent $70 on two beverages and two Tervis cups. So, not a good way to start the trip, especially with an outlaw. Complimentary and pause free. But, nonetheless, um, we walked over to a Guy's Burger Joint. And, folks, let me tell you, if you like a good burger, Guy's Burger Joint's the way to go. It was delicious. Absolutely loved it. Uh, you can put whatever you want on your burger. You can put chili. Uh, hot sauce, different sauces, your fries, whatever, and uh, all the uh, toppings that you could possibly want. Uh, after that, we just basically hung out on the deck all afternoon until it was time to pull off. Uh, we shoved off at about uh, 4 o'clock Eastern time and uh, stayed out on the deck until we were officially out into the Atlantic Ocean. 
Um, after that, we just kind of uh, went around and uh, saw the sites. We found we did not buy any drink packages, uh, so we took what was uh, default. Uh, here's one of the big complaints I had on the ship. Um, with the normal package, you are entitled to tea, lemonade, water, and uh, like orange juice, apple juice, that kind of thing in the morning. Um, the first and foremost, being a southerner, we know our tea. And that was the absolute nastiest tea I've ever tasted in my life. Albeit it is unsweet, um, but there was also... Um, sweet and low packets and things like that you could put in to sw sweeten it up a little bit even with that it was terrible it was just it, it tasted like oh i guess probably the best way to describe it would be like feet water if i had to if i had to pick a term it just did not have a good flavor at all lemonade was nice and refreshing but you certainly had to doctor it up uh, i had to put several packets of sweet and low to get it to where it was drinkable uh, straight out of the machine, it was extremely sour. Extremely sour. Some people like that. I don't. I like my lemonade to be uh, sweet. Uh, of course, uh, ice water. I drank a lot of ice water on the ship. Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, um, uh, request Carnival do in the future is they need more stations to get water on the ship. You should not have to go to the dining halls uh, in order to get water. Uh, so... Uh, that was that was a little bit of a downfall. It was quite a hike to go get you uh, some water. Um, one great thing is you could have all the ice cream you want. There were two soft serve machines, and I'm not gonna lie, we ate uh, ice cream up to three times a day this trip. So <laughs> it'll be a while before I eat any more ice cream. Uh, Want to shout out uh, Lizzie, uh, Lizzie, the cruise director. She was from England and absolutely fantastic she was very entertaining uh awesome to uh to to get to see and and uh, have her guidance uh, throughout the trip so uh, shout out to you lizzie uh if you find or if you want to see who lizzie is she's on uh, most social media platforms as as lizzie entertainment so uh go check her out she's great um other activities we did on the first day, we played bingo. Uh, we came close. We were one number away on a couple of games, but unfortunately didn't, uh, didn't uh, do well enough. We will play one more bingo game later on the cruise. We'll get to that later. Uh, I did a little bit of casino, uh, casino gaming while I was there, and I didn't play any table games. I, I get nervous about table games, but I did play some slot machines, and uh, there was a couple of games that I really enjoyed. Uh, one of them was um, Heat 'em Up uh, Power Wheel. Did pretty decent on that. And then there was another one. It was a quick hit and it had a wheel as part of it too. Um, had a couple. Of, I put played three hundred dollars throughout the trip and uh, got down to about twenty dollars on the third night and uh, started doing a little bit of panicking. But then I hit really nicely on the uh, quick hit uh, wheel machine. Uh, won eighty-one dollars. Now, intuition told me to go ahead and stop at that point, or at least stop for, with that machine. Uh, once it pays pretty decently, it's probably done for a while. So I went back to my favorite machine, which was the heat 'em up uh, uh, quick or uh, power wheel game. And about ten minutes later, I hit one hundred ninety-four dollars. So I was back in the black uh, by fifty-five cents. However, uh, a couple days later. Uh, actually, that same night, um, no, it was the next day, I um, decided I was going to go back and try my hand again and lost $150. So we ended up $150 down out of the casino. That's all right. We don't do that very often. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I personally stayed up and went out and explored the ship every night. Uh, my wife, she's a early to bed type of person, so she was in bed. Uh, 10 or 11 o'clock each night. Um, I would stay up till 2, 2.30 or so. Um, all right, so that's the end of day one. Day two, which is a sea day. Um, not a lot to talk about here. Uh, just a lot of eating and a lot of uh, uh, trying to chill. Now, this is where I'm going to rant really heavily on Carnival. Uh, this was part of the most miserable experience about this cruise. 
Um, the, if you've never uh, sailed with Carnival, they have two areas. They have an area that is accept, uh, accessible to everybody, and we're talking about on the outside decks. Uh, this pr the area that has everybody that has a um, couple of bars in it. It has Guy's Burger Joint, and it has the Blue Iguana uh, Taco Burrito place. And, uh, you know, part of our thing was we were wanting to be adults for a while and stay away from the kids. Now, we didn't have any issue with kids on the trip. Kids were okay. Uh, but we specifically planned on staying in the adults area, which is the other area of the ship called Serenity. And, uh, so we did. And, uh, we left for about 20 minutes and someone had came and picked up our stuff and moved it into the or sat it on the deck and took over our chairs. Now Carnival has a policy. If you are not in your chairs after 40 minutes, Carnival has the right to move your stuff and relinquish, relinquish the chair. That's fine. But as a guest, if you're a guest on these ships, do not touch other people's stuff. It's not your job. Let Carnival do that. Go talk to a steward. Go talk to a bartender. Go talk to a deck attendant, but don't touch other people's property. That is absolutely rude and disgusting. So, um, anyway, came back, and this lady had, uh, probably younger than I am, probably early 20s, her and her boyfriend were sacked out there in our chairs, and I went off. It wasn't pretty. So, uh, I, hate, I hate to say that, but uh, you cannot find a chair for anything on these ships. Uh, they're all taken up. People think that they can throw their towels on there and they're good to go. Um, however, that is not the case, and unfortunately, Carnival does not um, Carnival does not enforce their own policies. So, eh, oh well. Uh, so Whitney and I just went out and walked the ship some more. We, of course, ate some more and um, you know, kind of took it easy on day two. So that's about it with day two. The only other thing that was a little different on day two, we did not go to the buffet for uh, dinner that night. We actually decided to try the actual restaurant, which is included in your basic ca uh, cruise fare. Restaurant wasn't bad, but I'll give a full review uh, of the food uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, day three. Uh, this was the day that we arrived in Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, it's a nice place to visit, don't get me wrong, uh, but you were bombarded with Bahamian folks trying to sell you things the second you get off the ship. Um, we kind of knew that this was going to happen, so Whitney and I uh, powered past all these people, and we had intentions to buy souvenirs, so we went straight to the straw market and uh, purchased a few souvenirs for some family members, uh, Caroline, Charlotte, that kind of thing. Um, after we'd shopped, we decided that we were going to spend the afternoon at Junkanoo Beach. And uh, it was okay. Uh, we were able to get an umbrella and a couple chairs uh, reserved to us. Uh, water was okay. It was uh, a little chilly, a little chilly, but once you got in and you'd warm up to it pretty quick. Uh, biggest complaint about Junkanoo Beach, now this is not a carnival thing, this is a Junkanoo Beach issue, is it is packed like sardines. I mean packed like sardines. Um, so don't expect to get any uh, solitude or anything like that. Um, funny story, right next to us, um, gentleman sat down, and as soon as he sat down, he pulled a, uh, a, uh, marijuana out of his pocket. He just had it in his hands, and, uh, not 30 seconds later, uh, the Bahamian police, which looks completely different uh, from the police you expect in the United States. These guys look very militarized. They have black berets on, deep purple shirts. It, it just looks very military-like. Um, he, he was already over on top of the guy, absolutely blessing him out. And as he's telling the guy, you want to ruin your vacation? You want to ruin your life? You can see what I'm doing with my hand. He's ripping the job. So... Uh, don't try to do stupid things like that in the Bahamas. It's not legal, uh, at least in Nassau. So don't do stupid things like that. You will ruin your trip. You'll ruin your vacation. And frankly, you'll ruin the experience of other people around you. Have respect. That's one thing I learned about this entire trip is people need to learn respect for others. So 
that's that. Um, further on, uh, we um, uh, enjoyed the, the afternoon there, but then we decided, well, we're going to go try to get some Bahamian food and, uh, before we go back to the ship. So we did, and uh, Whitney and I went to, uh, actually, we were walking towards the lunch place, and another uh, situation occurred. Uh, we were walking through, and a guy comes up to us and says, Cuban cigar, Adderall, Perk. And I'm like, we're trying, this is a dope deal. Or I look at Whitney and we take off. So, folks, at the end of the day, I'm just saying be careful in Nassau. Be so careful in Nassau. You can get into trouble pretty quickly in, uh, down there. Uh, so we kept walking and we ate lunch at a place, uh, I believe it was called Ahoy Captain. And, uh, yeah, pretty good food. I had tacos. I'm not very adventurous with food. But uh, I have to say, they were some of the best tacos I've had. The seasoning on the beef was just fantastic. And then uh, Whitney decided to try the cracked conch. And if you're not familiar with what conch is, uh, you, you've seen a conch shell. That's the one that kind of looks like a horn, so to speak. Uh, this is the muscle that lives inside of those uh, shells. And uh, she also had some... Um, rice with uh, I think they were peas or beans or something like that in them uh, and as well as some uh, macaroni and cheese and uh, you can see that in the picture here uh, we tried it uh, conch's not really got much of a flavor it really doesn't um, it, it tastes okay especially with the tro tropical aioli dip that you, they give you however the uh, I'm just not a fan of how uh, tough the meat was. Uh, so that, that was a pass for me. Whitney liked it okay. Um, at the end of that, um, it was time to pay, and uh, credit card didn't work. Um, he swiped it and punched it and scanned it and did all this four or five times, and we swapped through a few different cards, and none of them were working. I said, Sir, I know these cards are good. I've got travel notifications on them. There's no problem. I think your machine's messed up. <coughs> so he goes and gets another machine, and it works right off the bat. So immediately I'm pretty paranoid that I've been charged like $600 on something that should have been 50 bucks. Uh, luckily, got back home, checked the card statements. Everything's good. Uh, so anyway, uh, after that, we went and got ice cream. Whitney had a good old-fashioned Dairy Queen. I had a Dole Whip from a place next door. Uh, fantastic, uh, great, great thing. You know what you're expecting with Dairy Queen, but the uh, Dole Whip was great. So we went and re reboarded the ship and uh, went and had dinner, and uh, that was pretty much it for uh, the Nassau day. Now here's the best day of the trip. Uh, on day four, we went to Carnival's private island called Half Moon Key. Uh, Half Moon Key. I call it Half Moon Key. It's a key island. It's it's small. Uh, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see in the pictures here, beautiful blue water, sugar sand beaches, fantastic. Uh, we did rent an umbrella, um, spent the whole afternoon or spent the whole day out there. Uh, water again was a little chilly, but you dunked yourself in, you finally warmed up to it pretty quickly. Uh, the lunch was a cookout style lunch. Uh, we had some great burgers. They had hot dogs as well. I did not eat any hot dogs. They also had uh, barbecue pulled pork, which I uh, passed on as well. I was just really kind of looking for a hamburger that day. Um, several amenities uh, on, on, on the island that you can purchase through Carnival. Uh, they have these floating uh, rafts uh, that are picnic type things. You can sit on them, eat lunch, and... Um, lay out that kind of thing on them but they are privately rent and they're not cheapest not cheapest at all uh, other things that they have they have uh, small villas that you can rent for the day and then they have a large two-story villa that you can rent for the day as well but you really need to have some family members to split that money with or friends that you're traveling with because it's extremely expensive I think it's $700 a day to rent those things uh, other activities again this is stuff that we did not participate in you could uh, ride a horse out on the beach and they'd take you down in the ocean a little bit. Uh, they had snorkeling excursions and glass bottom boats and uh, all kinds of things like that. So Half Moon Key, K, however you want to pronounce it, is fantastic. 
go check it out if you're uh, looking at a Carnival Cruise. So that was it on the uh, on those days, uh, the day the actual ports of call we had. Uh, day five, which was the final sea day, this was the day that we were on our way back to Charleston from from the Bahamas. Uh, we decided to make it a relaxing day. Um, Whitney and I both had a little bit of sunburns. I had some on my nose and my shoulders. Uh, she had a few spots on her shoulders and back, but. Um, we did not plan on spending really much any of the day in the sun, and it's a good thing we didn't. Uh, the ship actually said that it was 100 degrees outside, so uh, quite, quite hot uh, for March, that is. Uh, we did go play uh, $5,000 bingo. Um, unfortunately, we came up about two numbers short from winning that game. Uh, that would have been nice. That would have paid for our cruise and our uh, everything we did, and then uh, we would have still had money in the pocket after that. So... It is unfortunate, but bingo is fun. I enjoy playing if I get a chance. Uh, then, a little bit later, we decided to go uh, see a show called The World Works Here. And that was a show that highlighted all the staff, uh, the from the stewards all the way up to the, the uh, officers of the ship. And uh, the fact that they uh, all are diverse. They come from all kinds of uh, different places uh, around the world. I believe I heard 60 different countries were represented uh, on that ship. So uh, it was a very entertaining show. Um, got to hear some music from uh, the playlist players uh, as, uh, as they uh, did some things there. And Whitney pretty much called it a cruise after that, but I, I of course, went out and spent, uh, spent some time on that last night. Um, one of the things I want to highlight, uh, I did this on day three and day five, um, went to the piano bar it was piano bar 88 and this is a very niche thing for folks but if you enjoy sitting around singing and hearing piano and stuff like that the piano bar would really be up your alley uh it was just kind of relaxing it was nice to enjoy great people in there uh we all had a lot of fun um and the uh, the piano guy he, he'll play whatever you want if he knows it uh so if you do go on a cruise, think about the uh, the piano bar. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I would love to include some of the sound here, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. So, um, the gentleman that played on uh, the piano that night, his name was Jonathan Lee, and he was from Brazil. And uh, you can find him on Instagram at Jonathan Piano. Go check him out. Give him a like or a subscribe. Or I, I don't do a lot of Instagram, so I'm not quite sure how all that works, but. Um, go check him out. He's, he's fantastic. So I decided I was going to, uh, start heading in for the night. Uh, the next day was the trip back, uh, home. Uh, we were going to, uh, debark there in Charleston. And, uh, be but before I did, I decided I was going to make one last round up on the, uh, exterior decks and wow what a thunderstorm the only time we had any rain that night was or that the whole trip was the last night and it was a crazy thunderstorm a lot of wind a lot of lightning uh, i would suspect that um if it was daylight we could have probably saw some water spouts around us uh quite quite crazy but uh, those of you that know me know that i'm a weather buff so i sat out there and enjoyed it for a little while so after that, I went downstairs and went back to uh, the room and went to bed for the night. Uh, the very last day, we were already in port by the time I woke up there in Charleston. And uh, Whitney and I went down and had breakfast in the Sunrise restaurant um, one final time uh, before we got off the ship. And we were off the ship by 7.45, I believe, uh, getting ready to head back to uh, the hotel to pick up my truck. Before I get into the trip back, I'll just say uh, I, I told you I would mention the food. And uh, let me just say, there were, it was hit and miss. There were some things that were fantastic and a lot of things that were not. Um, things that I really enjoyed was the steaks, the burgers, the tacos, uh, things like that. Uh, most of the side dishes and things like that that you would find I've had better food at Shoney's. Let, let me just be honest with you about that. And I'm not a huge Shoney's fan. Um, 
So don't have high expectations when it comes to the buffets. The buffets are the worst on the ship. And even the Sunrise Restaurant, I feel like they're trying to be too fancy. Uh, they're trying to do all these fancy type foods and mass production, and I don't think it works. Let's keep it simple. Most of your clientele on that ship are not rich. They don't know what verts are. They don't know what a lot of the things are that are on the list. Let's keep it simple and offer a simple menu. That would probably be the best. If we were on a celebrity or a princess or a, a virgin cruise, I could see probably over or overdoing it, but um, not, not on a carnival. It's too much of an economy uh, cruise line. So uh, we headed back. We left, uh, got back to my truck about nine-ish, give or take. Got fuel and headed back. Uh, it took a, we were home by four o'clock that afternoon. So um, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and review this in a few different ways. One, the overall value of the trip. Two, the quality of the food. Three, the quality of the service. And four, the quality of the ports. So first, overall quality. I would give this a three out of five stars. Um, the ship is in decent shape, while, uh, albeit older. It's the oldest in the Carnival fleet. Uh, it is in pretty good shape. The beds are comfortable. Chairs are comfortable. Uh, it's, it's decent. Uh, but again, this category ranks everything uh, all across the board. Uh, number two, ranking the food. I will give it a two out of five stars. We've already talked about that. I've seen a lot better. And if you notice, I'm looking over here. I've got a confidence monitor on me. So sorry if I'm not making eye contact completely. Um, three, uh, the service. Five out of five stars. Your wait staff, your stewards, uh, your entertainment staff, world class it does not get any better than what you would experience on a carnival cruise as far as those positions go so grateful for the wonderful service we've gotten and finally number uh, category four the quality of the ports i will give this another four out of five stars the only reason i drop it down to a four instead of a five is because of the drug activity uh, there was so much drug activity that we were noticing uh, around us and uh, that kind of doesn't sit well especially with a family driven uh, cruise line like carnival so that's it i've taken up about 28 minutes of your time i thank you for watching this uh, again i want to remind you to like and subscribe and uh, uh you know if you have questions about stuff write them up in the comments uh, i'd be happy to answer you and let you know uh, my experience in different areas again like subscribe Check out my other videos on my playlist, and we'll see you on the next time. Have a good one, guys.